You are now at the round table with Lenny S. Maya the Brazilian Air and Big Life. Okay, everybody, on with the show! Take a seat and tune in. This is Drez, the black sheep. And right now I'm chilling with my peoples, hanging out at the round table with my fam, Lenny S, Maya B, and Big Light, here on Rock Me TV. Yo, don't shrink the screen. For reals. Yeah, once again, we cruising up in the building. Round table live in your living room, directly on your screen. Yes, we are sir. coming live and direct. We got Harlem in the building. We got an OG. Black sheep dress in the building, my homie. Dress, where you at, kid? Where you at? Our twenty fifth show. Legendary. Yeah, yeah. celebrating yeah. with my boy. Still one of the flyest guys. I know. In the Look business. at that outfit. It looks great. Still looking twenty five, baby. You actually get your own personal area right there, so you can lie down if you that's want. Your right and that's what your mic. What up, D? And that, that's your mic. And you gotta get really intimate. With What's it. up? Bro? What's the deal? What's yes. the deal? What's going on? Uh, uh, that's a lot of history at this table here, Jack. Yeah, I know this Without is crazy. Without question, I see Thank the sangria as well. I feel. I, feel I like told it. you. I, like I sent you a text I'm message. Keeping the light. I'm keeping the light. I'm keeping oh the light. man! It's all right, all you don't know what you're saying. All right. <laughs> so what's up, Black no. Sheep? Oh, uh, what's good, man? It's good to be <laughs> here. To be actually, you know, honest. Um, shoot, I see y'all getting it in the 25th show. That's big. Congratulations That's on that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank and, uh, you. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to put it together for a little minute. And at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Today, one right. up stars wind up being aligned correctly. You know? Yeah, I am. Yep. So we've long. been trying for months and months to get you. And then you actually just performed. Were you at Rock the Bells? And yeah, you performed. Uh, I, I, did, uh, I did a few. Of the, I jumped on in Miami, jumped okay. on in New York, Jones right. Beach. Um, but I actually been doing plenty of stuff on my own side as okay. well. You know what I'm saying? I did, like the day before Jones Beach, I mean, Miami, I was in Vegas. To, okay. Doing a Highline Ballroom in New York. I wound up doing Madison Square Garden for the first time. That was kind of hot. And, um, but actually traveling abroad as well. Been in Europe, killing it in Paris, Germany, Switzerland. Beautiful place. I mean, I really am very grateful to the hip hop community for definitely, right. you know, what I'm saying, and every DJ that exists for definitely holding a brother down over the years, and you know, what I'm saying, definitely giving a brother a slot to slide back in, and definitely a platform to stand on. You know, what I'm saying, hip hop is right. definitely love. Was this as were you, was this as Black Sheep or was this as you as a solo artist? Dress of Black Sheep. The okay. Black Sheep dress, Black... You, you can put it a hundred different ways. Are, it it winds right. up me spitting around but you on, know, on, on those albums. Speaking of that, Dress, let's go back to the beginning. How did no Black doubt. Sheep come about? Yeah, because um, before you answer that, you know, you have a lot of history in the music business and um, thank God, you know, you're still around. A lot of guys can't still no make doubt. it in this business. And you started, to me, one of my favorite eras in the 90s era and it's to still be around now. I wanted your school... The kids out there who you know who may not be unfamiliar or may not know the whole story. Okay, I'll lay it down. Essentially, me and my dude, we have met um, in North Carolina. We're both from New York, my through the you know broken homes, what have you. My parents relocated to North Carolina for high school. I wound up running with a little crew down there from New York, long being the youngest of. One of my dudes had DJ equipment every day. We rhyming, you know, this like we missed New York and hip hop was brand new. You know what I'm saying? So whatever Def Jam was putting out at the time, we was just gonna cop or without even hearing. And that's what we was learning to spin on and this, that, and the other. And essentially, um, we developed a real skill. Like all of us could DJ, all of us could rhyme. Like every day after school, we was cutting and rhyming. Long story short, years later, after I finished school, I bump into my dude Long on the streets in New York. He had met Red Alert while he was DJing at an event down there in North Carolina. Red was like, yo, if you have in New York, which he was every summer because he was from New York, look me up. Right. So Long wound up being in the studio for the making of the Jungle Brothers' first albums wow. to all kinds of stuff. He actually did the cuts on Buddy. You know what I'm oh, saying? To say, that, like, you know, that little known fact. But just to say, uh, at the end of the day, I bump into my dude years later. He's got the end as far as he's running with all of these cats that I'm definitely a fan of. Right. I'm like, wow, where are you really putting it together? Like, that's peace. He's introducing me to Red. Like, essentially, he really didn't have a place to stay that was kind of stable. I had, I had a two-bedroom apartment in the Bronx at the time. It was like my first apartment. I was like, yo, you my little man. You can come right. crash with me. It wasn't even about the music. It was about, you know, making sure you were all right. right. Essentially, he wound up introducing me to cats that I would you know, go on and make, you know, careers and bond and, and, and for real, for real, be very grateful to. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot was going on, in, on, on as far as me at the, at the time. But, um, yeah, that's how me and my dude essentially got together. We wound up being around cats and and was definitely embraced and, and kind of had the skills way before we got there and didn't really know what it was going to be for at that time. Right. 
But we had definitely laid down the groundwork as far as what we do. And it, and it came from a place that was very genuine. It wasn't about, I'm trying to make some paper to, get, to change my living conditions or I'm trying to establish myself as I play or I ball or what have you or, or none of the above. It was just out of the love of yeah. writing a rhyme that you might think is deaf. Real quick, you know before, before we go to commercial, how easy was it, or easier was it, if you, in your opinion, to get a deal back then than to now? You think it was harder or easier? Um, I think it's two, that's a two, it's a question of integrity of who you might be to say. I think the, those days you got a deal for sounding like no one. Okay. I think these days you get, get a deal, deal for sounding like sound everybody. Just like someone. Yeah. There you, you know go. Do, right. do not shrink that screen. We'll be back with Dre from right. Black Sheep. Right. There you go. Round table. Show number 25, DJ XL. Music Maestro in the building. Don't shrink that screen. This is Drez, the Black Sheep. And right now I'm chilling with my peoples, hanging out at the round table with my fam, Lenny S, Maya B, and Big Light here on Rock Me TV. Yo, don't shrink the screen. For reals. You are now at the round table with Lenny S, Maya the Brazilianaire, and Big Light. Okay, everybody, on with the show. Take a seat and tune in.